A quiz has 20 questions, with seven points awarded for each correct answer, two points detected for each wrong answer, and zero for each question omitted. Ram scores 87 points. How many questions did he omit? And so I'm going to do this by, by trial and error. And so I'm going to see, I'm going to assume that he omitted two questions. Assume. And then, if this works, brilliant, we mark it as a choice. If this does not work, then we'll say, is there another method to try this? Brilliant. So he does not attempt two questions. That means he attempted 18 questions. And 18 questions he attempted and got 87 marks. And some he has got right, some he has got wrong. And I'm going to start with the extreme condition. I'm going to assume that everything is right. And so out of these 18 questions, he gets everything right and zero wrong. How much will he score? His score will be 18 into 7. 7, 8, sir, 56, 6, 5, 126. Obviously, this is not the solution. He did not score 126 marks. He scored only 87 marks. Brilliant. So 126 does not work. Right? 18 right and 0 wrong, that doesn't work. But with having attempted 18 questions, he could have got 17 right and 1 wrong. This will be 17 into 7 minus 2. Because he gets two points detected for each wrong answer. But however, I'm not going to think of it as 17 into 7 minus 2. I'm going to think of it beautifully as 18 questions. He got, instead of getting everything right, he gets one question wrong. That one question goes from right to wrong. What do I mean by that? Instead of getting plus 7, he gets minus 2. Or the score falls by 9. So instead of getting 126, he will get 117, minus 9. Instead of a plus 7, he has a minus 2. So his score falls by 9. Now this becomes very simple. If he had 16 and 2, he will get 117 minus 9, which is 108. If he had 15 and 3, 108 minus 9, 99. We had 14 and 4, 99 minus 9, 90. 13 and 5, 99 minus 9, 81. 87 does not sit on this list. So I straight away know if you had attempted 18 questions totally, it is impossible to get a total of 87. 87 is not possible. Right? Now, if, once you get more and more comfortable with, with reminders, and you can think of 87 as a multiple of 9 plus something and then jump and get to the answer. That's an approach sitting there. But I'm assuming you're not comfortable thinking in terms of reminders. So we're going to skip that and come back to this idea. We try 2, that doesn't work. Let's try 5. If it is 5, that means he skips 5 questions. That means he attempts 15. So 15 questions he attempts. All 15 are right and 0 wrong score would be 105. 14 right, 1 wrong, with this minus 9, 9 to 6. 13 correct, 2 wrong, minus 9, 87. Oops, we have a winner. Done. And starting from 105, every time you hit, you go from a question being right to wrong. Instead of getting it right, he gets it wrong. That means there's a swing of 9 marks. Instead of getting plus 7, he gets minus 2. So, instead of getting 105, he drops 9 parks. So, 105 minus 9. 9 to 6 minus 9. So, it falls by 9 marks totally. 105 minus 9 is 9 to 6. Minus 9 is 87. 87 is what he's got. Or he's left 5 questions, gotten 2 wrong, gotten 13 right to get to 87 points. That's a beautiful question go methodically, go from the choices. You can frame equations and solve this, but doing this way is better because I'm not sure you guys are comfortable doing A, B, C, X, Y, Z, P, Q, R, all of that. The question says 20 questions. I know that I could have got two wrong, I could have skipped two or five or seven or nine. Let me assume you skip two. That means you've attempted 18. All 18 right takes you to 126. One going from right to wrong makes it minus nine. Another minus nine, another minus nine, another minus nine. That way, you get through this sequence. 87 does not sit on this. 
the next sequence next choice beta 87 sit and then try different that try it it falls in place straight away if it had not worked 87 does not sit on this also then we go to next choice and so on 